In this video, I will try and provide you with the formula you're going to need to calculate the individual riser heights for your stairway. And in this example here, we have 35 inches between the lower level and the upper level, or the overall total rise of the stairway. So we're going to have a total rise that's going to be this height, and we're going to have a total run that is going to be the length of the stairway. So let's just go ahead and take a look at three different stairways. So here's one with four steps, here's one with three steps, and here's one with five steps. But this isn't going to help you because this is what you're looking at. So what I want to do first is divide the riser height I would like to have for my stairway into this number. And keep in mind that the maximum riser height is going to be seven and three quarter inches for most residential stairways in the United States, and it can't be less than four inches. So our number is going to have to be in there somewhere. So I'm going to start with the number seven. And as you know, if I divide seven into 35, I'm going to end up with five risers at seven inches. So each one of these risers is going to measure seven inches. And it's not going to be a bad idea to divide four and six, the numbers on the other side of five, also to see what I'm going to get. So if I divide four into 35, I'm going to end up with eight and three quarter inch risers. And that's not going to be approved by most building codes. So this one's out. And if I divide 6 into 35, I'm going to end up with 5.833, or just a little bit over 5 and 3 quarter inches, providing us with another stairway that we can use for this measurement here. So basically what we have will be two stairways that we can use. Just don't forget that you can keep dividing. I can divide 7 into 35 and get 7 5 inch risers or even 8 into 35 for a 4 and 3 eighths or a 4.375 inch riser providing you with more than one option you can use for your individual riser height to build your stairway. And of course, you can stop watching the video right now if you understand what I'm talking about. If not, I'm going to provide you with a second total rise number of 39 inches. And again, we can do the same thing. I can divide the number 7 or the number 7.5 or even the number 6.5 into 39 inches. And that's the beauty of doing it this way. If you would like to have a specific measurement, you can start with that measurement. Just keep in mind that it's a starting point measurement. It does not guarantee you will get that measurement. So if I divide 7.5 into 39 inches, that's going to provide me with the number 5.2. I can then take the number 5 or the number 6. So if I divide the number 5 into 39 inches, I'm going to end up with a 7.8 inch riser. Not going to work if the maximum stair rise I'm allowed by my local building codes is going to be 7.75 or 7 and 3 quarter inches. So this stairway's out. So next up, I'm going to divide it by 6. And that's going to provide me with a 6.5 inch riser and something that you should be allowed to build. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead and divide it by 7. That's going to provide us with a 5.57 inch riser height or just a little over five and a half inches and another stairway that we can build. Now you can keep dividing these numbers in either direction if you would like to create smaller or taller risers. And hopefully this makes sense. If not, do not forget to go to our website and check out some of the books we have on building stairs. There's a lot more information in those books. Just make sure that you get the exact book that's going to match the type of stairway you're going to build.